Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to create curtains. Let's open up 3D Studio Max. We can go to the Create tab or use the panel on the right side. So let's select the plane, go to the front viewport, click and drag something similar to what I have on screen, like so. Let's add some length segments to 50. The width segments to 50 as well. You can have as many segments as you want, but I'm using 50 for the purpose of this tutorial. Let's select the box on the right side here. Click and drag. Like so. Let's take that to the top of our plane. Like so. Let's go ahead and right click on our object to convert it to an editable poly. And then let's apply the cloth modifier. Go to object properties, select the plane, cloth, and then you can use whatever preset you want. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be using cotton. Press OK. Now drop down the cloth options, select group. Go to the front viewport and select the vertices at the top of our plane. Click on the make group button and name that whatever you want. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll call it top. And now we're going to select a node. Select our box or our rectangle at the top of our plane. And you noticed the top node is now attached to box zero, zero, 001, which is uh, the box we created. We didn't name it though, so but it's fine. So the node acts as the control point for our curtains. That will help us create the creases we want and, um, and modify the cloth object. So click away from the options and select the cloth itself to go back to the cloth properties and scroll right down to the bottom. For the units, you can have something like three. You can play around with these. And then for the self collusion, let's go for two. But depending on the size of your plane, you might have to increase or decrease that even further. With that done, let's go and simulate local. You notice nothing really changes when you do that. So let's select our box and reduce it in size like so. You notice our cloth is now reacting to, to the movement we've just done. So at any time you are satisfied with what you have, you can always select the plane with the cloth still selected. You can just go ahead and stop the simulation and your curtains take that as a, the final position. From this point, if you want, you can apply the shell modifier to add a little bit of thickness to your curtains and the turbo smooth to smoothen it further. But we're going to try and manipulate this a little bit more. So from here, you can select the box, shift and drag to the middle of our curtains like so, and then have that on as a copy. So select the plane one more time. Go to group, go to the front viewport and select some of the vertices um, within, our, within our, our new box. Make group one more time and then let's name this middle. And you notice for that particular group, the group we've just created is unassigned at the moment. Whereas the top node is assigned to box 001, which is what we just did. Now we're going to assign a node to the middle group. Select our second box like so. And then head right out. So at this point, we don't need to modify anything else. All we have to do is press simulate local one more time to get us back into the editing mode of our curtains. And then we can manipulate this uh, middle box. So let's select the middle box and reduce it in size. You 
you'll notice our curtains now reacting to the rectangle at the top and the one at the bottom so even if you move that you can have different effects with um, playing around with both boxes so something like so let's try and um, reduce that size a little bit more or even more like so So from this point, as long as you've got the simulate local still in play, you can manipulate these curtains however you want. And so for the purpose of this tutorial, um, let's take this as the final shape of our curtains. So let's go to the left side and turn off the visibility of our two boxes to see how our curtains appears. And that's what we have. So from this point, you can create laces or ropes around our curtains, around this area here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll leave it here. And then um, we can uh, see other steps in future tutorials if you want it. So I'm going to mirror copy these curtains. So select it in any of the viewports. I'm going to be using the front viewport. Click here. And then go ahead and have that on as an instance. Drag that backwards like so. And there we go. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to do. With the plane selected, just make sure you switch off the simulate local. If you're really satisfied with what you have, you can go ahead and convert it to an editable poly. So I'm just going to convert this one. And then from here, you can apply the shell modifier to give our curtain some thickness. Here's the shell modifier. You notice there's some thickness added to our curtains in comparison with this one where I haven't applied anything. So let's go ahead and reduce reduce that to maybe point point two I think I'll leave that there for now so anytime you want to see what's really happening you can press F4 to see the vertices like so and you can press F4 to switch it off let's apply the turbo smooth modifier So for the iterations, you can have it at two, like so. Okay, press F4. You notice, you notice that the curtains on the right side has a lot more detail in comparison to the one on the left. And another thing you might want to do, if you feel like you want to add some detail to your curtains, Let's select the one on the left. Um, let's go ahead and convert it to an editable poly as well. From here, let's select the edge and just double click on any of the edges. It will automatically loop to select the edges on the same line. So I'm going to give a curtain a little bit of detail like so. So hold down control to select another set of lines like so. I'll take that as well and then maybe I might take three more down here like so okay so from there I'm going to go ahead and select the extrude settings okay so let's reduce that you can zoom in a little bit let's go down to something like so and then hit plus and then say okay so let's go ahead and apply the turbo smooth modifier and see what results we get. Increase the iterations to two, press F4, and you notice we've got some details on our curtains. So you can play around with it to get the final result you want. And you can have like um, some box at the top here just to
just to give it a sort of finished look like so and there we go so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll see you on the next lesson